What is up, nerd friends? This week, we're doing a firmware update to the multifunction LCD program box G2 edition. So before we begin, we're going to take our fresh LCD program box, our properly connected USB cable, connect that to the side of the box, and let Windows do its magic. Now, I've already uh, done lots of updates to different boxes on here, but if you've never plugged one of these guys in, it's much like when you plug in a new keyboard or a mouse, Windows pops up a little notification, and then it works after that. The same thing applies here. So now that we know that that's out of the way, we can unplug this guy and save so him for the first this. stop on this very exciting adventure is the HobbyWingDirect.com website. Uh, then you go to support, you go over to download, and then you can download the zip files there. There are three of them to choose from. All three of them are the same. We just have backups in case there's you know, a zombie apocalypse on the internet and we don't want to lose our ability to do the downloads. It takes you to a Dropbox page. You don't have to log in. You don't have to down, you know, don't have to install anything. All you have to do is click download and it'll bring it into your computer's download folder. And once that gets done, you can go up here, click on the folder and it opens it up for you. Double click to, oh, you double click to get in. You double click again to get in. And then you double click again to run the installer. Uh, Windows is very protective. So you have to click on the little extra information. You say run anyway, and it lets you install the program. Like most people, I just click next and next and next and next and next and let it put it where it's supposed to go. So that's installing the actual base program. You hit finish and it puts an icon on your uh, home screen for you, your desktop. So you double click this guy to open them up and there's going to be a couple things that have to happen. It's going to check for more updates. And this one, it says the wizard has found the following updates to the application. So we're going to install that. Well, well first we're going to download it. It's a little quicker. And then after that, again, next and next and next and next and install. And what that's doing, it's updating the actual application itself. Why it just doesn't download the new one, I don't know. It's above my pay grade. Once that gets done, we can open up the program one more time. We're getting close. And if there are any database updates, it's going to check for those. And it is. The wizard found the following database updates. And the database is the actual speed control firmware. So it's different than the other. So it just downloads those, and then we're ready to go. And then what I always like to do once that is all done is just close the program so that everything's cool, open it back up, grab my multifunction LCD box. Plug that bad boy in, listen for the chimes. Oh, and then we got to go up here to device and select LCD program box. That's right. Then it'll automatically swap over. Once into this screen, again, that step was you click device to select speed control or box. And I select box and it automatically clicks in. And you see here it's the LCD program box. It's what hardware version it is, the firmware that's on it. And then this drop down shows you the firmwares that you have available. The highest number is always the most recent. But let's say you got like a really old speed control and it won't allow it to update it. You can roll back the firmware in the box to, to give it a chance to do the step by step updates. If that makes any sense. Um, but to just update the box, we're gonna select the most recent one. We're gonna hit upgrade and let it do its magic. This takes a few minutes. And at the end it says upgrade, operate, finish successfully. That means it's done, you're good to go. You can then close the program and disconnect your box. Update it, ready for action. Some quick reminders, this does require a genuine Windows PC. Don't try to run it on a Mac emulating Windows or anything like that, it just doesn't work the same. If you have any issues with this, try a different USB cable. Even if you're using the one that came with it, just try one just in case there's been something kinked, damaged, whatever. And then make sure that Windows is making that chime when you plug it in and doing the driver install if you've never hooked up one before. Those are the kind of three or four main things that we've run into over the last years of having this product in operation so i'd like to remind everybody we do have a podcast it's called rc stuff powered by hobby wing we give away a free hobby wing combo each and every episode we do two episodes a month so your chances to win are pretty high all you have to do to enter to win is listen to an episode just look up rc stuff powered by hobby wing on your favorite podcast service if you do have any questions comments or concerns please do shoot us an email north at hobbywing.com
And as always, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.